Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia, and as you can see by the title of this video, your girl went in again. So for those of you who don't know, I'm just a wee bit obsessed with Crocs. It's not like I have like a humongous collection where I'm like filling a room with Crocs, but the collection is slowly growing. So I wanted to share with you the two brand new pieces that I'm adding to my collection. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you're a Croc lover, you already know Crocs did a collaboration with Zappos.com um, and they have released the Clueless Crocs and I'm a fan of Clueless as well as um, Crocs. So for me, it was just the perfect combo. So yeah, here we are. So yes, I have opened this, but I have not worn them. So this is what the box looks like. Totally cute. Um, these are the, these are the share. So they have Crocs for all four of the leading members of Clueless. So just going to go ahead, open this up, show you what it looks like. So these are the share Crocs. They are platform Crocs because share is all kinds of extra. So yeah, her Croc had to be platform. So the gibbets that come with this are a safety pin and also the chain. The chain is very, very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Um, just super duper cute. You can see on the inside that it says it is the clueless Croc. I purchased these in my regular size, which is a size seven. I did not know where these were made at ahead of time. I was just trying to get them. So I just went ahead and I got my size. For those of you um, that are Crocs fans, you already know, depend, depending on what country the Croc is made in, it will uh, vary slightly. So I wasn't sure, I just went ahead and I bought it in the regular size. These are just a tad bit snug. Um, usually they are made in, I wanna say Indonesia, um, the majority, but I'm not sure. So I'm not even gonna lie like that. I will go ahead and put the country down um, once I edit this video to let you know Usually when you get a croc that's made in a different country than the country where they're usually, you know, manufactured out of, it will be just a, a just a hair snug. This is just a hair, but like I said, it is totally, um, totally, totally wearable. So on this, the chain is actually made here instead of being put on the strap. So, um... You're still going to be able to wear it in sport mode. So, or not sport mode, but the mode, you know, like this. I'm just fumbling all over my words. You guys know what I mean. You're still going to be able to wear it like this, which is usually how I wear them. The only time I will flip it over um, like this is if I know I'm going somewhere and it might be a little hilly or something like that. Because who wants to go tumbling out of their Crocs, right? And on the second crock, because you do get a little bit of a difference, we have this little pearl gibbet right here for this one. And that's, yeah, that's it. So this is what they both look like together. I do have some gibbets that I purchased from my plug on Instagram, which I will highlight at the end of this video because we're going to jazz these up because you know I do the absolute most. So I wanted to start off the video showing you how these actually come right out of the box. And the next one that I had to purchase was my girl Dion. I absolutely love her and her croc was giving. So yeah, so this is what Dion's look like. Super cute, right? So Dion is giving us a gold chain. Now Dion is not platform, it is a regular croc, but it was still cute enough where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this anyway because of the plaid. Um, the only crocs I have in black are a plain black pair. So I was like, you know what, this is just super duper cute and I just love it. So yeah, that's a detail we're getting here. 
um, on the inside here. Does it say that it's... It does say that it is a clueless crock, but it is just really, really, really... Um, it's kind of a black on black situation going on. So that's what the inside looks like. Now these, oh, these are made in China. These I tried on and they felt pretty normal like the other ones that I usually get. So um, once again, size seven, women's, five in men's. And the other croc is giving us a gold safety pen and yeah now these came with gibbets that you could buy separately because we're getting like the bare minimal and gibbets for these they had a whole entire gibbet pack on the website and the gibbet pack was like 25 bucks and i was looking like okay i'm already paying for these shoes some things you know i go all in for some things and other things i'm just like um no and for me the gibbet pack was just a no i mean the gibbet pack actually would make the shoe because it has um the sayings and the quotes so they had separate gibbet packs for each um character so we had share we had dion we have amber and these are Amber's gibbets. So they are super cute. And I mean, just at a glance, you would be able to know, oh, that's a, a clueless croc. But it's 25 bucks. I'm not paying $25 for one pack of gibbets. That is a hard and fast no. So I just couldn't do it. But I want to show you while I'm on the gibbets for um Dion and for share. Okay, let me just go ahead and show you um everybody's crocs. So these are the Ambers. Um share is now sold out. These are the um Ty. Now Ty has the slippers. And then we have um, Dion and Dion is also sold out so you can see who everybody was going for um, I do like the the slides but I don't have a pair of croc slides yet that is one thing I need to get so let me go ahead and show you the gibbets that came with the two that it's not even letting me on the page I'm guessing because it's sold out darn it okay well i'll just pull it up where you can see it so because they have one of the pictures decorated with the actual gibbet pack so you've got a cell phone you've got the clueless gibbet you have an as if gibbet so just really really cute and it would have just at a glance you would have known you know that they were clueless gibbets super cute but i was just like um no so these are the gibbet pack that was for dion so once again it says clueless it has a red rose which is symbolic of the red flower that was on her hat um you have some more gibbets that you know coordinate with her character so super cute but once again i was not paying 25 dollars for a pack of gibbets so yeah so you guys know my plug on Instagram for my gibbets is LBJ Charms. As always, I will link his information below. I just got this in the mail today. So I was waiting for this to go ahead and do the video on the Crocs because we're going to decorate them. Well, I'm going to decorate them right in front of you so you guys can see the final result. So let me go ahead and get these out of the pack and we'll get started. Okay guys, so here is what we have. Once again, this is by LBJ Charms. I will um, put all the information down below so you can go on their Instagram. So for me, I just figured I would just do a designer kind of look like a blingy designer look because we know you know they grew up rich and fabulous so 
designer just seemed the way to go for me. So, and in case you don't know what a gibbet is, this is the little part that goes into the hole of the shoe, wherever you want to place it, you just punch it in and there you go. So we have a Dior. Next, I got this, this one, super cute, a Gucci. Um, butterflies, because, I mean, who doesn't want a blinged out butterfly? I got two of the Chanel gibbets. You guys know I love Chanel. Um, another different kind of butterfly. This was the pearl butterfly. Once again, just something to add a pop of color and just super blingy. Um, these Eiffel Towers were on sale. They were, like, on clearance. So, I mean, they are super cute. I've had these before. They look heavy, but they're actually kind of light, and they do not easily pop out of the shoe. A yellow Prada symbol and a Gucci symbol. So there we go. So I'm going to, I guess I'll start with the Dion, since that's the shoe that I have in front of me. And I wanted to use this one for the Dion just because... It's black, and I thought the black on black with a little pop of color would be really cute. I'm just going to poke this into this hole, and you just punch. There you go. I mean, it's literally that easy to punch this on. So, uh, let's see. We'll take a, uh, a Chanel, because we all love Chanel. Just going to pop this one here in the top. No, I'm going to move that down because I don't want the chain hiding anything. Uh, let's see. Can I do it like that? It's just a matter of finding out where you want the symbol to go. I mean, it's literally that simple. Because I don't want to overshadow. I might need to move this somewhere else. I think I'm going to move this one down and then I'll put the um, Chanel symbol. So when you go to pop it out, you just take your finger, go on the inside of the shoe, and you can just push it out. So it's that simple. And I think I'm going to put that more on. Let's see. I'm going to stick it there, stick it here. I think I'm going to stick that one here. Just going to push it in. There we go. And we're going to put the Gucci, uh, the Chanel symbol here. And just going to push that one in. Sometimes it's a little hard to work through, but once it's in, it's in. And sometimes you have to go in at an angle to push it in. And that's what I had to do with this one, just put it in at an angle. But you see how the gibbets just elevate the shoe. So I'm going to finish uh, decorating this shoe. Then I'll come back, show you the finished result, and then we will move on to share. Okay, so I'm done. This is how I finished off the Dion Croc. So... I ended up moving the safety pin because it was lower, so I kind of moved it up and out of the way so I could go ahead and put this Dior symbol in the center and this um, Eiffel Tower on the side. So I think these are blinged out enough. Um, with these, I really don't want to cover up the plaid because that is what makes the shoe, so I just wanted to give it a little pop of extraness, but still with you being able to see the plaid because that is the main characteristic and that is what lets everybody know these are the clueless Crocs. So now we're gonna move on to Cher. Okay, so I got this yellow Prada with the Cher Crocs in mind. So I'm gonna put this someplace prominent where everyone can see it because I want that pop of color so i'm just trying to decide where i want it i think i'm gonna pop it in over here on the side because it's still prominent but it's on the side so i just think that's super cute 
I'm going to take one of these. Let's see. This one is just so extra blingy and just all everything. I think I'm going to put that on the other shoe. Um, let's take one of these butterflies. Now, I picked this one with this shoe in mind because of the blue and the butterfly and the blue in the um the blue in the butterfly and also the blue in I'm going to remove this. I'm so sorry y'all. I'm like trying to figure out what I want to do and trying to talk to y'all at the same time. So I'm going to move this up so it's out of the way. So once again, if you just kind of stick it in from the corner, you can pop that right in. There you go. Sometimes you have to move it around a little bit. Let's see. Is that what I want? Okay. So, got the safety pin. I'm going to put this butterfly more toward the center. This chain is hanging low. That's the only thing that's kind of got me like, oh, I think I need to move this Prada. I'm going to move that. It's all about with these gibbets, just trying to place it in a place where you can show everything that you want to show. And it looks uniform and just really nice without being looking crowded and kind of gaudy you know what i mean because who wants to be gaudy right with all this this blingage i'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these on because you guys don't want to see me struggling over this and i'm gonna come back once i have it all blinged out okay guys it was really hard getting some of these gibbets into the shoe it's almost like it was just super thick I'm not sure if that was really it or not, but this felt like a lot thicker than the previous one. So I didn't want to struggle. So here we go. I didn't want you guys to have to see me struggle through it. So I ended up just leaving, just putting two gibbets on this one. The gibbets are large in size. So sometimes when you have the larger gibbets, it can be, it can look like an overcrowding thing. So you want to do it kind of tastefully without being gauche. So I went ahead did the large butterfly like i said i wanted to highlight the blue in the shoe so i wanted to use that gold and um the gold butterfly with the blue and the louis vuitton um this is the gibbet that came with the shoe since it's so large in size it kind of takes up space so wherever you put this it's going to be taking up you know space so i just wanted to kind of leave it a little cleaner um, this is the second one there obviously is a lot going on like I said this chain does hang kind of low um, if the chain hung a little bit didn't hang quite as low I feel like I would have been able to like add another gibbet to it but so we have the gibbet that came with it that is here which I think I might move that here because you can almost can't even see it um, I have the a uh, big blinged out heart gibbet right here, the Gucci gibbet. I have the Chanel and then the Prada gibbet. I usually do not put gibbets this low because I'm always scared that that's the place where your foot is constantly hitting things and it might come off. But this is so lightweight that I think it's safe being here and that's it. So am I going to move this? I think it's okay. Because I think if I move this here, then that's just going to be too crowded. So this is the end result for Cher. So there we go. Super duper cute. Super duper blinged out. I mean, this is an extra shoe. So yeah, it's got to be all that. So that's the end result, guys. Let me know what you think. So I have two gibbets left over. I'll just save them because you guys know I'm going to be getting some more Crocs at some point eventually. And I'll just save these to add on to those. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on how you think both of these came out. I love them. I think they look super cute, super blingy. You guys know I am unap unapologetically extra so for me this was a must 
like I said, let me know if you have any questions. I will link everything below, including um, LBJ Charms. I get my charms from him. They are super duper affordable and he will let you know right away if something is out of stock and offer a substitution like on the spot um, if you contact him through Instagram. So please be aware of that. Thanks so much. Let me know your thoughts on these and I will see you in the next video. Bye.